We all know that a caterpillar becomes a butterfly, but have you ever stopped to think about how? How does it happen that an insect whose time is spent eating leaves transforms into a beautiful winged flying creature that drinks nectar? Let's dig into it and find out exactly what happens. The life cycle of a butterfly begins with the laying of an egg by an adult butterfly. As the caterpillar emerges, it begins to eat, sometimes starting with the egg itself. A caterpillar's main job is to eat and eat and eat and grow in preparation for the change that lies ahead. Many caterpillars will only eat the leaves of one type of plant, while others will eat a variety of leaves and foliage. Caterpillars have mandibles, or strong jaws, which help them bite off leaves and easily chop them into small pieces to be digested. The body of a caterpillar is designed as a great eating machine. It can quickly digest the food it eats. After the food is chewed, it's pushed into a very long intestine. Nutrients are stored in a layer of fat called the fat body, and any waste is pushed out the back. Caterpillars have two types of legs, thoracic legs and prolegs. Thoracic legs are the first three pairs of legs, the ones that look sharp and pointed. These legs help the caterpillar hold on to its food. Prolegs help the caterpillar grip surfaces and helps it when it climbs vertically. However, prolegs don't have segments or joints, so they're not actually true legs. Because of this, caterpillars are considered a six-legged insect. A caterpillar moves by contracting its muscles. It begins by contracting its muscles in the rear and pushing blood forward into the forward segments. This stretches the caterpillar out. The forward legs hold on to the position, and as the front muscles contract, the rear segments are brought forward. A caterpillar will repeat this process as it moves itself forward. The hairs on the side of a caterpillar's body are attached to nerve cells. These provide information to the caterpillar about touch and send it to the brain. A caterpillar will eat and grow until it's too big for its body. Its solution is to get rid of the outer layer, known as the exoskeleton, and get a new one. This process is known as molting. When a caterpillar molts, the layer underneath is a very soft skin. To provide it with more room to grow, it will swallow a lot of air to expand its body. Then, when a new skin is hardened, it will let out the air, giving it more room to continue to grow. This will happen a few times during the lifetime of a caterpillar. If a caterpillar is able to stay hidden from predators and get enough to eat, it will soon be ready to enter the next stage of life. After two weeks of constant eating, the painted lady caterpillar stops eating and searches for a place to pupate. Most people think that a caterpillar spins a cocoon, but what actually happens is they molt and shed their skin one final time. To start with, the caterpillar finds a good leaf or branch to hang down from that will keep it hidden from predators. It will spend the next week of its life unable to defend itself and undergoing an incredible change. Sometimes, more than one caterpillar finds the same spot. The caterpillar spins a silk pad underneath a leaf or branch, and then it firmly attaches its cremaster into the silk pad. Then it molts one final time. This is the final molt for this caterpillar. 
This is in actual real time. You can see it starts by splitting its exoskeleton open in its head area. It wiggles its body and moves its muscles to move the exoskeleton upwards. So what will happen inside the chrysalis? The caterpillar releases enzymes called capases to dissolve and break down the tissues and cells. The resulting soup, which is rich in proteins, will be used for the butterfly being created. One of the most amazing parts of the metamorphosis is the imaginal discs, which are not dissolved with the other cells and tissues, but instead they are activated when the caterpillar reaches this stage. And clusters of these cells will develop into different adult body parts, such as an eye, wing, or antenna. From birth, Caterpillars have these imaginal discs in their body that are just waiting for the right time to activate. As a caterpillar, the discs are kept from activating by a juvenile hormone, which disappears when it's time to form the chrysalis. Cells are digested and act as spare parts for the butterfly that is being created. See? The shiny chrysalis that's left after the caterpillar molts is still soft. And incredible things are happening inside of it. Chrysalises can still wiggle and make a sound if they feel threatened. On June 23, 2010, a 5.3 magnitude earthquake occurred 400 kilometers away from us. We noticed our chrysalis shaking like this. They kept on for about 20 minutes before settling back down again. After 7 to 10 days, the chrysalis becomes more transparent. A day before it emerges, the wings of the butterfly can be seen through the chrysalis. As the butterfly emerges, it has finished a complete metamorphosis. The tissues have completely reorganized from larva to adult, adding legs, wings, and a totally different digestive system. The butterfly has a head, a thorax, and an abdomen, and six legs, just like the caterpillar did. But the similarities end there. The first thing the butterfly needs to do 
is take care of its wings. The wings are wrinkled and wet and unable to fly. The butterfly must pump fluid into its wings to inflate and stretch them. The front legs of a painted lady butterfly are much smaller and don't have any claws. So it looks like they have four legs, but they actually have six. The butterfly must also get rid of meconium, which is the waste that was produced during the transformational process. The proboscis, which will be necessary for drinking nectar from flowers, is in two parts attached together with hooks. The butterfly must twist those two parts together and form one long drinking straw. The butterfly's antenna is used to taste the air and it also helps them with balance. While caterpillars eat leaves and their digestive system is designed for solids, butterflies use their proboscis to reach deep into the flowers and sip up the nectar that is found there. Their digestive system is designed for a liquid diet. At the bottom of each of the butterfly's six legs, there are taste organs that helps the butterfly find food. When it lands on a source of food, the proboscis will open as a reflex so the butterfly can drink the nectar. A butterfly has four wings, two fore wings, and two hind wings. It has big spots on its wings that look like eyes to keep the predators away. For a butterfly to fly, the temperature must be warm enough. Even perched on a flower, it keeps its wings moving so they stay warm. Near the end of their lives, butterflies mate. Females lay eggs and then they die, making way for the next generation. This painted lady butterfly will live for about two weeks. From beginning to end, the life cycle of a butterfly is an incredible look at the great transformation known as metamorphosis. And that is how a caterpillar becomes a butterfly.